Hi. In this video, I will just quickly show you the possibilities with DID Studio. I have used it for this video and a few others also. Why? Because English is not my native language and my voice and pronunciation is not really that great. Also, auto-generated subtitles are more correct by using this AI tool than if it should transcribe from my own voice and faulty pronunciation. I am, however, fully aware that some people don't like auto-generate voiceover for explainer videos, etc. But I don't really care. Okay, so here's DID. It's an AI tool for generating talking avatars. You can upload your own photos, like I do, and yes, it's me, that's how I look, or you can use their DID presenters. You can also generate your own new avatar presenters with stable diffusion right inside DID. Regardless what you choose, you just add it up for creating a video. Then you can type in your script as pure text, like what I do here now. Or you can upload an audio file with your own voice. Then you choose your language, and practically all languages are available. Then you choose your preferred voice, unless you have uploaded your own voice of cause. I use Davis here because it's the one that comes closest to my own voice. For some of the voices you can also choose to customize the style, but opportunities are different from one voice to another and some don't have that option available. Finally you can choose to have an S or T file with subtitles generated for your video, which you can then download separately. You will pre-listen your audio by clicking the speaker icon here, but you cannot preview the video because it's not generated yet. When you're ready to generate your talking avatar video, you click on the generate video. Then it will calculate the amount of credits your video will cost based on the time. Each 15 seconds equals to one credit, so it's four credits per minute. Yes, this is not a free service, but it is affordable and it works great and the possibilities are plenty. Also, their support service is excellent. I know from experience. There are more settings, which I will not go deeper into here, like you can control aspect ratio by you image size, and I think there are some possibilities with background also, but I haven't used any of that yet. Okay, once you tap generate, your video will show up on the library page, and from there you can watch it and download it. That's it. Thanks for watching, not really sure how it makes sense saying that though, but yes whatever, take care and have a great day. Remember not to subscribe, just don't. Moing.